Keen here. The Rivian Armor T's got about 11,000 miles now, so I'm gonna rotate the 21 inch road wheels. So I just checked the tread depth with this little gauge here. And the fronts are at 7 tenths and the rears are at 8 tenths. Now Rivian just released a software update that shows basically the amount of power going into each wheel in the gauge cluster. And you can see that during regen, it's using the front wheels more. So the front tires are going to get more wear on the Rivian platform. Here's some of the tools I used. I have the, the Mag Jacks jacking pucks. I also have two three-ton bottle jacks. Now I'll put a link to the one on the left. It's a high lift and it has plenty of clearance to lift the Rivian with the jacking pucks. I also have some jack stands and some wheel chocks for the opposite side. Disclaimer here, uh, don't do this unless you have the right equipment and feel comfortable doing it. Just bring it to the service center. For me, I wanted to see how to change the wheels and tires, and it's far easier for me to do it myself. First, you got to put the Rivian in off-road mode, the highest setting, and then enable tire change mode in the service menu. Next, you want to release your jacking points covers and insert the magnetic jack pucks. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the covers. Be careful not to break the little retaining flap. So you're gonna really need a high lift bottle jack to lift the Rivian. I had an older one that I used some wood blocks to be able to get up enough reach, um, but the one on the right that I linked below works just fine. Okay, then I used some uh, jack stands and wheel chocks on the opposite side, uh, just for safety. Next, I lifted both bottle jacks evenly until I could remove the wheels. Need a 20 two millimeter socket. Here, tighten all the lug nuts and then let the truck down. Don't forget to remove the jack stands first. And then torque the lug nuts down to 190 newton meters with the torque wrench. This was a good opportunity to clean off the brake calipers and the wheels. I also put a tiny dab of anti-seize on each bolt just so they won't give me trouble in the future. This is all pretty easy to do. It took me less than an hour with the right equipment. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe. More videos on Rivian, Tesla, Wi-Fi, and tech products.